Hello everyone! Today in this video, I will guide you through the steps to install and configure WordPress on an Ubuntu server. You can find all the mentioned codes through the link in the caption. As usual, we're on an app get update to update the system package database. A modern WordPress stack comprises three primary components. A database, a web server capable of proxying requests to an FPM server, and an FPM server. This combination is commonly referred to as the LNMP stack, which stands for Linux, Nginx, MySQL, and PHP, also known as LEMP. There's also the LAMP stack, which is another well-recognized configuration you might want to use, consisting of Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Given its strong compatibility with an Ubuntu system, we will now proceed with the installation of packages for the LNMP stack. Okay, let me clear my screen. Now I need to configure the MySQL database so that it can be used later by the WordPress instance to store its data. MySQL underline secure underline installation. I'm using this command to initialize the MySQL server. This is the recommended way to initialize fresh MySQL installations. Password validation, no. Remove anonymous users, yes. Disallow remote login, yes. Remove test databases, yes. Reload privileges, yes. Let's get a MySQL root shell to create the user and database. Create user wp underline user at localhost. Create database wp db. Grant all privileges on every table of wp db. To wp underline user at localhost. Alter user wp underline user at localhost. Identified with MySQL native password by secret password. The database is up and running. It's time to install WordPress itself. As you know, WordPress is an open source project, which means we can easily access and download its source code. So search for WordPress on GitHub and copy the link to the latest archive from tag section in WordPress GitHub repository. Change directory to slash var slash www. Download the archive. Uncompress the file using tar, and then rename the resulting directory to WordPress. Finally, remove the archive and set web server file permissions recursively. As the last step, you need to configure your web server, so users can actually visit your website. I won't delve deeply into Nginx configuration concepts, as it's a complex topic beyond the scope of our discussion. I'll just utilize Nginx WordPress recipe to serve my WordPress website. Copy the Nginx configuration content from the page and save it in a file located at slash etc slash nginx slash websites dash available. Name the file whatever you desire. However, this recipe needs some modifications. At the beginning of the file, change the root path to slash var slash www slash WordPress. Obtain FPM socket path by running systemctl status, php 8.1 FPM. Then replace the Unix socket path with the correct path. Restart the Nginx service. Let's check the status. 
just to make sure. Yep, it's up. Let's open the website in a browser and see if it works. Oops, it looks like web server is not configured correctly. I think it's because I forgot to enable the Nginx configuration at the end. Let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm disabling the default configuration and then linking the WordPress config file from the other directory. Restarting the Nginx again should just do the trick. Awesome! We have WordPress up and running. Press continue. Proceed. Fill in the form with the same information at MySQL configuration step. The site title is test installation. The username is admin. The password is auto-generated, so let's copy it. And your email is admin at office.vm. Let's see if I can log in. Admin at office.vm and pasting the password. Bingo! I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share your comments with us.